Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Top of the Pops. I'm sounding more and more like Jimmy Savile. That's quite sad. Anyway, folks, welcome back to the WTF. Let me just get rid of this microphone. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, the reason why we had that intro there, because we're all talking about um, broadcast, AM broadcast. And I've got a piece of kit here, which I'm going to show you, which is on loan to me by my uh, good friend uh, Ian, G6TVJ. Uh, which hopefully will enhance uh, the quality of my AM transmissions. Um, as you know, here in the uh, in the shack, we do quite a bit of AM, you know, using vintage stuff. And um, I've got a lot of nice little modern um, homemade uh, transmitter, which I haven't actually shown a video of, but uh, I'll show you briefly the outside of it. This piece of kit here, um, <coughs> which Ian's lent me, is what's called an OptiMod, and um, it's quite quite sophisticated. I don't know much about them, um, but I've sort of got a bit of a briefing from Ian. We've set it up um, with my Class E transmitter, which produces really good quality AM, even without something like this. And hopefully we'll give you a bit of a demo as to what this can do for your AM transmissions and how it compares you know, when we don't use it. So hopefully, um, <clears throat> I'm going to try and arrange so we get Ian to do a recording of this um, with and without the OptiMod, which is what this piece of equipment is, and we should get a good comparison. Now, at the moment, uh, it's Halloween, and some of you may or may not know, we've just had, a, there's been a massive coronal, coronal mass ejection, which is a big solar flare, happened two or three days ago. Uh, <clears throat> so conditions on 80 metres which is what this transmitter is designed for, are a bit uh, uh, a bit unstable at the moment, but anyway, we'll see. So I'm hopefully going to do that tomorrow tomorrow morning on the AM net, we'll hopefully give you a bit of a demo of, of this thing. Anyway, let's have a closer look at it, and I'll quickly show you what it's all about. Right, so <clears throat> having a closer look at this piece of equipment, uh, I will say right from the start that uh, this is actually quite a sophisticated piece of kit, and... Um, Having been uh, loaned it, uh, I haven't really got my head around half of it. But so these, so this OptiMod nine one hundred A, what does it do? So the, the piece of equipment like this would be used essentially in broadcast AM transmitting stations, commercial stations, often more often than not, because they're quite expensive pieces of kit. And the whole idea of it is basically a six-band compressor limiter. <clears throat> so the way it works is that you basically feed your audio into it uh, before you before the transmitter and it's got what's called a six band compressor limiter. So the audio goes in and it all gets crunched up in the electronics and the uh, highly sophisticated uh, circuitry that's inside this unit and it basically analyzes the frequencies of say the audio going in and it sort of selectively uh, compresses different um, frequency ranges according to these different bands. So the whole idea then is that if for instance you're broadcasting music or if you're broadcasting well speech for that, ma for, for that matter you generally get a much better sounding um, audio uh, through the receiver at the other end uh, so you, it just sounds more punchier, it sounds more livelier, um, it sort of gives a, the impression of a much larger br uh, bandwidth. Uh, so generally, you know, it, 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 it gives AM an almost, an almost FM quality, if you, if you can understand uh, where, I'm, where I'm going with this. And commercial radio stations usually have one of these or something similar to this. Um, in their radio stations. Now there's a lot of things on this switch is which um, even I don't understand, you know, filters and things like that. Uh, th these indicators here really give you the, your levels of degrees of compression in, in, in each frequency uh, range. Um, inside here we've got a compartment full of sort of settings um, which you don't usually touch so it's it's kind of like what we call uh, what, a DFT uh, compartment, uh, don't effing touch, 
uh, essentially and it's even got a key there to keep it locked so you don't fiddle with the settings so that's that's the OptiMod uh, more or less in a nutshell so what we've got, we've got this set up I've got, just moving over here we've got a mic uh, equaliser uh, which, is gonna, which basically takes the audio in from the microphone uh, so you can then sort of uh, just fiddle around with the various frequency ranges uh, before it goes into the OptiMod and then what we're going to be using uh, for our AM transmitter is my let's zoom out a little bit uh, this is my Class E uh, transmitter that I built um, two or three years ago I, well a bit longer than that about three years ago I would guess and this is uh, an all solid state a PWM modulated uh, transmitter uh, produces capable of producing up to 300 watts carrier but we don't uh, run it quite as high as that as we'll be outside the legal uh, limits uh, so this actually produces really nice audio uh, on its own and I usually have this set up with an equalizer I did have a, a separate compressor limiter which is underneath that equalizer but uh, unfortunately that seems to have uh, given up the ghost or certainly the channel that I was using so uh, might still work, but I haven't. Um, I've taken it out of the uh, out of circuit for the time being. So I generally use this uh, setup with um, uh, just the equaliser, and this is the uh, microphone I use. It's a Shaw, uh, nothing special, uh, dynamic microphone, uh, and and you get really good audio with this setup. So what we're going to try and do is um, we'll go on the net tomorrow and uh, we'll see if um, we can get a recording of this and how it sounds so you can notice the, uh, the difference. Morning, okay, uh, Morning all and uh, welcome uh, back. So we've got everything more or less set up. We've got the Class E transmitter and there's um, <coughs> listening with the old trusty AR88 vintage uh, receiver. Very good for AM and uh, got the scope. This is a tablet scope so hopefully you can uh, see the waveform and the OptiMod. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, I've actually not set up the OptiMod at the moment. We we've got the standard setup plugged in and uh, we'll, um, we'll hopefully uh, get Ian to uh, do a bit of a recording so you can see, you know, get a comparison, see what it sounds like. So uh, stand by and uh, we will um, hopefully be able to demonstrate that. So over to you then Justin, I've got my phone there standing by so listen to how you sound like. So um, over to you, uh, um, GW0 FZY from G6 TVJ in the group. Uh, GW0 FZY returning. Well uh, this is the OptiMod and um, yeah, uh, I hope you uh, can notice the difference. Um, I will change over a little bit later on onto the um, the standard setup, um, but it's um, it does look a little bit uh, the, the tracing certainly looks a bit different on the uh, uh, on my oscilloscope than compared to the uh, the uh, standard setup. The uh, standard setup. Uh, what can I tell you? Uh, I'll give a few reports actually first because um, we've um, we've had a few. Uh, new joiners since the, the last time. Um, let's have a look. Guys, Andy, uh, five and eight with me, Andy. Not as strong as you usually are. Um, <clears throat> morning to you, Ian. F4BSC, about five, nine, plus 15. Uh, morning to Keith. Uh, Keith, you're about five, nine, plus 20. Nice, strong signal. Ian, um, good signal from you, Ian. You're about 20 over nine. Uh, Trevor was about five and eight. And uh, Mike, uh, EJM, uh, also about um, 15 to 20 over 9 mic, so nice strong signal. Signal. Uh, uh, right, yeah, just a few comments. Yeah, we had, well, Ian came over the weekend, as um, as you've heard, bought the OptiMod, and that's what you're hearing at the moment. And, um, uh, yeah, we had a few problems. We, we wanted to go out for lunch, but all the pubs were all fully booked. I think it's, you know, all the, uh, um, <clears throat> the COVID thing. Everybody wants to sort of go for Sunday lunch, I think. Uh, but uh, But there you go. Um, and just a comment on the, um, uh, I think to you Andy, you mentioned that Lorentz receiver. Yeah, I've seen that. That's actually an amazing uh, TRF. I think it's the best TRF ever made. And um, if you ever look at pictures of that, all the uh, all those different RF stages are all sort of screened up. It, it's very well engineered. And uh, if you can get your hands on one of those, um, it's, um, you know, I think they're, they're, they're really uh, sought after. 
Uh, I, ha I have actually thought about trying to uh, to make one of those um, or to copy the circuit diagram, and um, I might actually do that. Actually, I've always wanted. So I've got a load of I've got a load of Type 27 triodes, which I think might be quite good for something like that. So uh, so there you go. Anyway, let's um, let's quickly swap over. Well, I'll take this OptiMod out, and I'll just uh, put the other uh, the other microphone in. So uh, stand by for a minute. I'm just going to uh, drop carrier. Right, that's um, we're now back on the uh, the old system. So I've just basically got a microphone preamp and uh, and my equaliser. Uh, so um, hopefully you get a, an idea of the uh, of the comparison. I'll just uh, waffle on just for a little bit uh, longer so that Ian can get a, a reasonably good comparison uh, with the uh, with the OptiMod. Uh, so uh, I'm hoping that. Uh, you can see what, what it's all about. I'm actually doing a YouTube video on this, uh, so everybody can watch and see what uh, um, what the difference is. So I hope your your video Ian comes out pretty well. Anyway, I'll I'll swap back to the OptiMod. So uh, stand by. Right, we're back with the OptiMod now. So uh, hopefully the. Uh, the difference should be uh, should be quite obvious. Anyway, let's uh, let's keep it going around. I think it goes over to you, Ian, in uh, over there in Brittany. Uh, F4 VSC uh, in the group from Golf Whiskey Zero Foxtrot Zulu Yankee. Sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, I can only describe that as spectacular. <laughs> uh, the difference is uh, is tremendous. I mean, without the optimus, you're uh, you're a big signal anyway, Justin. Uh, with it, you have an enormous presence. Um, uh, carefully looking at the air speaker, I can't see any difference in the uh, signal strength. Uh, it's just that the, the audio presence is, uh, is massive. It's great, I love it, and um, uh, uh, terrific. I didn't really know anything about uh, Optimod until uh, it came up on this net uh, in discussion. I think when you were trying to set it up, uh, Mike. Uh, so I, uh, I looked it up, <coughs> but uh, uh, it's a, an interesting uh, uh, setup. I believe in the UK it was uh, the Radio Caravan that first started using it, um, and then uh, everyone else followed, including the uh, the bull that uh, you probably know a bit more about. Uh, uh, it is. But uh, fantastic! I absolutely uh, uh, it makes it makes everyone else. <laughs> Sound a bit feeble to be honest. <laughs> um, so uh, uh, if, if our signals are on that video, we'll have to have a bit weedy compared with your uh, your magnificent uh, optimus. Anyway, chaps, on uh, on that uh, note, I'm going to uh, shut off and uh, have a bit of breakfast. Uh, uh, I mentioned earlier, I've got this 52 on the bench. I'm trying to sort out some mod with it. Well, I think you agree that's a pretty good uh, demonstration, and uh, we've had some quite favourable reports back from people on the net this morning. What I want to show you is some of the videos that uh, Ian and um, uh, Mike uh, EJM G4 EJM have sent, uh, which really gives you know it really gives uh, a really good uh, idea of the the difference uh, the Optimod makes. Uh, so if you're into AM and, uh, you know, if you can get your hands on one of these, definitely recommend it. So I'm going to leave you with uh, uh, <coughs> a few video shots um, of the uh, of the received signal from this morning. Movies on, um, on iMovie. Uh, so uh, uh, it's supposed to be... Uh, since I got this new phone, um, which is an I iPhone as well, uh, it's been a bit um, it's been a bit funny. So uh, uh, it's always a problem when you get new stuff. You, you know, <laughs> things don't work, or you lose things that you want. Um, so it's always a bit of a it's always a bit of a nightmare. I'm actually building, I'm actually building up an 807 um, transmitter with a, a modulator that I, a modulator unit that I got from uh, eBay, which actually came out of an ARC52. 
uh, which is um, a bit of aviation uh, communications kit from the Cold War. Um, one of these old black box things, VHF, I think it is, VHF, UHF. Um, but it's got a lovely little modulator unit with a pair of uh, 2E 26s in push pull. And it's got all the little transformers all on the little unit, which is about, um, I don't know, six inches by about two inches wide, two or three inches wide, something like that. So um, you just. Well, folks, I hope you uh, enjoyed that video and uh, I hope we we'll catch you again soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.